Now, all right, welcome back in. So we are here in the PRW, Public Resource World. This is the hollow hall that I have built for the Public Resource World to house the collector, this guy right here. And I'm gonna show you today how to make this cool little reading alcove. Uh, I started out just this. This stuff was placeholder over here and you got your nice tall window and I turned it into this and I'm going to show you what I did today because there is a few tricks there are a few tricks I need to learn words uh, that oops I should probably turn my HUD back on uh, that uh, you're gonna learn how to do today so we take all this out because we don't need it anymore we are going to get rid of some of this nope not all of it helps if I hit the right buttons Dang, really hitting wrong buttons. Gotta come down one more. Alright, so we're gonna bring this down. This is all superfluous uh, for you because you will have made this on your own. So now we have the basic structure of it. What we need for this build, you need two crypt standing torches it doesn't really matter if you use a different type but that's just what I'm going to use the large crypt sideboard now this is all stuff that Alden the new guy the collector dude crafts uh, so you have to actually find the crafting recipe when you're in the dungeons he'll then craft things and there you go and contrary to belief this is not actually put on a wall this stands on the floor you'll need two crypt chairs a uh, candle if you wanted, some swag to put on things, some books to put on the shelves, whatever you like there. We are going to start with that guy. So what I want to do is just roughly center it. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but I don't. what I do not want is I don't want it sinking inside. I don't want any part of it in. I want it to stand out on its own like that. So now we're going to go to chairs, and this is what I'm going to show you. So if you look at this chair, do you see right above my hammer the square bit and look at the square bit on the edge of that sideboard we are going to use that to our advantage so we go right there and I'm going to sink it in until the square on the front of that is hidden just like that as if by magic where'd my other chair go right back up here and it looks like once you're done, it looks like it's just part of it as if it was always there. Pretty darn cool. Now, unfortunately, someone's going to ask, no, you cannot sit down in it once you do this. Clipping it into another piece forbids you from being able to sit in it. So it's just for looks at this point. You know, it, it is what it is. All right, so now onto these. And look how the feet are. We're going to use hold R and twist until we have a straight line. You see right there, straight line. And I'm going to put it up here now. I need to roughly center the middle, the, the one sticking out on the left. But also, I want the two legs right in about the center of the post at the edge. But I don't want any of the legs sticking out. So we're going to do about like that. And then I'm going to turn it the other way. Is that straight? Or did I miss it? Looks like it looks straight. All right. So we'll come over here and fight with the camera a little bit. Find our sweet spot like that. Now you're like, wow, that's really bright. Yes, it is at the moment, but we're going to fix that. So now since I use the red marble coming down, I'm going to use the red marble again. And I'm going to eclipse the candelabra, the, the light, if you will. But as you can see, it still sticks out and it's really, really bright. That's because we need to go out a little bit further. Actually, I did that wrong. I used the other one I did. I need to use the other material so that it matches better. I don't like using all the exact same material everywhere. I like to mix them up. That way it gives a little bit of... Uh, differentiating between the material types and it doesn't look like just one monolith of material. I'll come up here because I can't see what I'm doing. Come on now. 
There you go. Sometimes this this block. Yep. And of course I did it wrong. This block's a little bit annoying because though it, it bulks itself out and becomes kind of a pain. So now we've got the basic structure of it, right? You've got your support columns, if you will. Obviously they're not, but they look that way. And we come up here. Now one thing I didn't show you, there is light backlighting this thing. It's up there. I put backlight up there, but I put it one block up to give, or sorry, to hide it from your view. So we're gonna take this warm block and we're gonna come up one need a little bit deeper what well, not that deep ha <laughs> come on now deeper but on the same level there we go deeper and on the same level it's exactly the way we want it so we want it to actually stick up one so now if we look up, we've got this really gorgeous uh, backlighting that is not visible. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to do one singular shelf across here. And this is just to tie it in so that we have the same look coming down. It comes across, even though you can't see it. It's just one of those things that in my brain, it works a little better. We're going to come out all the way across. Excuse me, my brain, I had a brain fart for a minute. So now we have the plinth, the, the front section, nice and chonky, but we still have this light that's visible. If you were to come down the stairs, you would see the light. That's unsightly. I don't like it. We're going to get rid of that now. So just the edge where it has the light, I'm going to bring it out another block high. We're not going to go all the way in, we're just going to the edge. Because I want this window to be a feature, I don't want to hide the window. I just want to hide the block. So now if we look, you see over there, you've got a lower down section. Same over here. And we've got this nice smoke coming up that seems cool and ominous. So now we have the basis formed of all of that, and it's really just decoration at this point. Oh, I, for there's one other thing you can use, and that's this thing right here, that weirdly enough seems to be duplicating in my inventory. So this side's the wider side. I'll go ahead. I'm not going to make these exactly the same. Uh, in fact, I will do this. Let's do this about like maybe that because I don't want each alcove to be identical. I want there to be some difference between them. In fact, let's see how much difference we want to do. I can dig that. Just give it a little bit of a different look than that one is. I like it. So now let's start doing some books. Now on the other one, I covered the entire bottom shelf and actually after doing so, I didn't really like it. There is a problem with doing this the way I am. It's really hard to get anything back. <laughs> like hey, hey, trying to get down there and reach just one book type. Yeah, good luck with that. I don't think these fit in this one if I remember right. They do, but not easily. Put that there. So let's go to, let's go to number six. We'll put a couple of these books. We're going to put some other things on these shelves too. Maybe we'll turn a book. It's going to be, be in there a little strange looking. And let's put on... I can dig that. Put that over there. We've got these like urn looking deals. We're going to put one down here. I'm going to put one over here. Maybe we'll stick one up at the top. And then we got some bottles. I'm going to put a little bit of this around. Maybe put one of those there. I kind of like that, that type. And uh, stick another bottle down here. 
and I think we'll put a couple couple bottles in here like we're just storing some up go back to six and now we're out okay we'll put a smaller one in front that'll work it'll look nice what what's Bob Ross say there's there's no uh, there's no mistakes just happy accidents <laughs> dude Bob Ross is the goat oh it's not gonna let me do this with this thing in the way all right we'll come back to you buddy So we're just going to do a couple of these bad boys. I think we'll just put another one right there. That looks good. And then what else do we have? Ah, let's just go. Actually, I know what I can do. Let's go grab one of the books where you just have them sitting on the floor. I think I got a stack of that somewhere. Yep, there it is. And we'll grab something else just in case. This little jewelry box thing. The idea when you're doing um, decoration, you want it to look messy. It's not supposed to be perfect. It's not supposed to be just sitting here and every, everything is just absolute perfection. You want things to be all disheveled and lived in, if you will. So now, that is a good spot for this bad boy. I like that. And what did we get? What was the last thing? Number five. I bet we could find a little happy little spot for this guy. Maybe he's big. I think that'll work. A couple of different sites there. Oh, now we got to put this guy back. So now that I put some books there, let's kind of do him like a like a yonder and there you have it great little nook that you can build yourself you can put your chairs set them into the side table set your lamps to look like columns as part of it and just make sure if you're doing it just you know make them a little bit different don't have them exactly the same on both sides that way now, I will have this more updated version down the road. I mean, I got a lot of work to do, as you can see. There's a hell of a lot of work still to do. But I'll, I'll get this as I do slowly update everything. Uh, the most recent iteration is up to having the Mana Leech wand and staff. And I put them up here. I did this yesterday. They're right here. So these, instead of having Health Leech have mana leech so that is the most recent iteration of the version 3.3 and this will be up pretty soon I really like these 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 have a really cool look and it just it just adds so much to this it makes it so much more livable all right thanks for watching guys